Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in the series of the Mass 2 questions which is from Geeks for Geeks, the next question that we have is this equilibrium point question. So before starting with the video, uh, to all the people who watch my videos, they like my videos but they, but they do not subscribe to my channel so please don't do that and just uh, click on that subscribe button. Also you can find all the codes that I write on my channel on my github handle you can go and access it from there and I also upload short notes for all the content that I upload on my instagram handle. I will leave all the necessary links in the description box. Now let's start with this question. So first let's see what this question demands for. So it says that uh, we are given an array A with n positive numbers. So there are no negative numbers. That is the first point that we have to remember. Secondly, the task is to find the position where equilibrium first occurs in the array. Now equilibrium position in an array is a position such that the sum of elements before it is equals to the sum of elements after it. So if we take this example, so in this example, this is an equilibrium point because the sum of the numbers before this point is equivalent to the sum of the numbers after this point, which in case over here is 34. So in this scenario, the equilibrium uh, point is 7. So now let's see what are different methods using which we can find or we can solve this particular question. Now if we just see a very basic approach which, which straight away comes to your mind is that you can just set every element as a pivot and see if it is an equilibrium point or not. So first if I just set 2 as my pivot so the left sum will be 0 and the right sum will be sum of all these numbers. Now I can set the next pivot as uh, element 3 and then we can say that okay the left sum is 2 and the right sum is of these and hence we can set every element as a pivot and hence we can find that which uh, which all points are our equilibrium points. So the outer loop will be of order of n in which uh, we will be setting uh, all the elements in the array as a pivot. And the inner loop will be working in order of n because we will have to get the sum of the left and right side or, uh, of the, the numbers that are present. So the complexity will be order of n square, the time complexity and the space complexity will be order of 1 because no extra space is required. But this is not very efficient way of doing this. We can do it in much better way. Now what if we can do is instead of getting the sum all the time what we can do is I can just store the sums that is I can store the uh, sum of the left side that is the first element will have 0 because over here we have 0 then the next will have 2 then we'll have 5 then we'll have 8 and so on and over here we will first uh, over here the over here we'll have 0 as the first right element so 0 then we'll have 7 then we'll have 11 then 20 and so on so what we have to do first we have to traverse the array from left to right and we are going to make uh, we are going to store all the left sums that are possible then we are going to traverse from right to left in order to store all the right sum possible and then what we can do is uh, we can just iterate over uh, all the elements setting every element as a pivot and then we can check if the corresponding left sum is equivalent to right sum. So what we will do is if i is set as a pivot so we will check if the left sum of i minus 1 is equivalent to right sum of i plus 1 so it is going to uh, be and so i will be a pivot. Now when we have to check this we need to remember that certain things are to be taken care of. The size of this array will be n plus 1 so that we can store all the left and right sums and this is the logic that we have to check but in the left array that is the left sum array we will have to map the i minus 1th element to i because if I set my 0th element as the pivot and if I check 0 minus 1 so it will be minus 1 which is an invalid index. So for this we will have to check the 0th element. 
So accordingly we can do now in this question the time complexity will be first n to uh, get the left sums then order of n to get the right sums and then order of n for setting the pivot and seeing if it is an equilibrium point or not. And if we talk about the space complexity, so order of n for the, or n for the left sum and n for right sum. So over here we'll have order of n time complexity and order of n space complexity. Now let's see how we can further optimize it. Now over here we, we can notice one point. If we know the sum of all the elements and if we start getting the left sum, so we can eventually calculate the right sum by subtracting the left sum. So instead of get doing this order of n for right sum again, we can just simply just store the left sum and also we don't need this right sum array because we can just simply store the left sum and we can calculate our total uh, total sum of all the elements that is sum of all and while we are accessing this element so in order to get its corresponding right sum we can just subtract the from sum of all elements minus left sum minus the pivot element using this we can get our right sum and hence we can check if the current element is a pivot or not so in this case also the time complexity will be order of n and space complexity will be order of n this is not a better uh, way when we talk about asymptotically the, the complexities have not got better but if we talk about like a proper mathematical value or exact value so a little time uh, has become a little better now let's see which is the best approach which we can use so instead of storing the number we can just simply iterate over the whole array and hence we can find it so let's do one thing we can just get this uh, this array and we can just run the whole loop on on it Okay, so let's take this as an example and let's see how we can do. So what we can do is I can keep a current sum and sum of all. So in the starting, uh, we don't need any extra space to store. I will take order of n time and just get the sum of all these numbers. Over here, the sum is 34 plus 34 plus 7. So which comes out to be 75. So sum of all is 75. Now currently when I am on this element, I am setting this as my pivot. Currently my left sum is, so this current sum is basically denoting my left sum. So initially my current sum is 0. Now if I want to get my right sum, so we know the formula which is sum of all minus left sum minus the pivot. So sum of all is 75 minus left sum is 0 and my pivot is 2. So this comes out to be 73 and 73 is not equivalent to 0. So this is not a pivot. Then we go to this element. So we have the current sum. We'll make it as 2. We are going to add this number to it. The current sum or the left sum is 2. Right sum will be 75 minus 2 minus our pivot which is 3. This comes out to be 70. Now 70 is not equivalent to 2. Hence this is not our pivot. In the next iteration, the value of current sum becomes 5. Because over here pivot is this. Now when we talk about the right sum. So right sum is going to be 75 minus 5 minus 3. So this will be 67 67 is not equivalent to 70, uh, 60 uh, uh, is not equivalent to 5. Hence, this is not a pivot and we are going to move further. And now the pivot we have is 7 and hence left sum becomes 8. And the right sum now becomes 75 minus 8 minus 7, which is 75 minus 15, which is 16. Now these two are not equivalent. So this is not a pivot. Now we go to 4, left sum becomes 15, right sum becomes 75 minus 15 
minus 4. So this is 56. Again, 56 is not equivalent to 15. Now, this is since 4 is not a pivot, we move to the next number. So over here we had 15 and now we have 19. Now let's see the right sum. Right sum is sum of all minus left sum minus the current pivot. So this becomes 42. Now 7, 19 is not equivalent to 42. So this is also not our required answer and hence we are going to move further. And now we can do this process again and again. And when we come at 7, so the left sum that we will have will be 34 and the right sum will be 34. So 7 is clearly our pivot. Now see, we are not going to move further as we know that there are no negative elements and hence we now know that as we are going to move towards right, the left sum is going to increase and the right sum is going to decrease. Hence, we stop over here and we say, okay, this is our pivot. And so over here we can see that in order of n time, we can find the pivot also with order of 1 space. So this is by far the most efficient way of finding the equilibrium point in just order of n time and order of 1 space. So this was all for today's video. If you like my video, you please subscribe to my channel. Also hit that like button and spread it all uh, across your friends. And if you want all the short notes, you can go to my Instagram handle. You can find all of them over there. Thank you.